Question number seven. Which of the following quadratic functions would have x-intercepts of negative two and four when graphed? Now the solutions of a quadratic equation are the x-intercepts of its graph. So essentially we're looking for a quadratic function that would have its graph looking something like this. And all we need to do in this case is generate two factors that would give us zero if we were to plug in these values for x. So if I have x plus 2 and I plug in the negative 2, negative 2 plus 2 is zero. So this is one of the factors. What would the other one be? What value can I put in here so that, well, that was supposed to be an arrow, by the way, but it just looks terrible now. That's a little bit better. Well, if I have x plus 4, would that work? 4 plus 4, 8? No. That would not work. But what if I subtract 4? 4 minus 4 is 0. So that would work. So this is a factor that we can include. So that's it. One quick way of figuring it out is just to switch the signal of the number as long as it's an integer. And there we have it. x plus 2 times x minus 4. And this would be the solution. Note, of course, that if we were to plug in the negative 2 for x, we would have negative 2 plus 2, which is 0, times negative 2 minus 4, which is negative 6. Negative 6 times 0 is 0. So y would be 0. And remember that when y is 0, we have an x-intercept. So that must be correct then. And if we were to plug in the 4, that would also work, because 4 minus 4 is 0, and 0 times anything is 0. So there we go. The answer is C.